Now, in today's video, we are going to make seven delicious healthy snacks for kids because <laughs> we love kids and also we love hosting and today we are hosting a play date. Yay! Some of our kids' best best friends are coming for a play date. So basically, you yeah, have to make snacks. I mean, you can't invite guests over and then you just look at them, especially children. And you know children are picky eaters, so we just want to make healthy, delicious snacks for them to enjoy. And these snacks can also be made for your kids when they come from school, like an after school snack. So I was looking for a nice and affordable place to buy apples, grapes, and all those fancy imported fruits. And you guys said High Ridge is the place to go. So hmm, who is like me? I woke up early and went to High Ridge Market, found amazing things, which I will show you right here. Hi guys yet another bright and early morning where we are on the hunt for bargains so yes we are going to high ridge market we are running late nothing new there <laughs> it is now 6 48 we were supposed to leave the house at 5 45 mm, see our lives and so now we want to go we hope we find something we had they are very affordable apples and 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 grapes and all those imported fruits that are normally so expensive elsewhere let's go see how much they go for there mm, should be interesting I learned about uh, High Ridge Market is it's open every day apart from Sundays. It is next to right after you pass Aga Khan Hospital, uh, and they open from 3 a.m. You guys, and then they close at 8 a.m. So if you want to go buy anything, you need to be there quite early. And yes, it was an interesting place to buy this fruit, you guys. They, I think it was worth it. Someone was asking me <laughs> in one of the comment section. Someone saying, "Does it really make sense to go all that way to save twenty or thirty shillings?" Well, for starters, as you will see in a bit, it's not just twenty or thirty shillings, and every little adds up, you guys. So you save a hundred shillings here, a hundred and fifty shillings there. You save a hundred. You go to Ma Marikiti Market to save some more. You go to the slaughterhouse, you save even more. At the end, you guys, we are saving thousands. And even more so, you guys, you know how much I love business. This is a great way to learn where you can start a side hustle that will make you some good money on the side, you guys. At the end of all this, if I decide to start a business, I'm going to be rolling in money, you guys. I'm going to make it rain. But <laughs> yes, anyway, <laughs> we're learning. So guys, these are the stuff that we got from High Ridge Market. The prices were okay. They were not earth shattering, but it was definitely okay uh, compared to what we buy, uh, we pay for at Marie Kitty Market. So now, especially if you're hosting or you need like to buy to have a lot of these things, uh, buying in bulk, that's a place to go. The apples we bought uh, in a tray. Apparently, you can buy singles or you can buy in a tray or you can buy a whole box. We bought a tray and the guy was kind enough to mix for us both the green apples and the red apples. And for a whole tray, we paid 730 shillings which was coming to 22 shillings per apple. And considering for these larger size, they normally go for 30 shillings. So that was a good deal. That was a good deal per apple. And you guys know, in, I did my, my grocery haul video, I said the way I have a fear of buying oranges and finding them to be very, very bitter. But they had these ones, and you guys, these ones were calling my name, my ID number, even my Huduma number. They were just calling me, you guys. And they were being sold per kilo, and a kilo was going for 70 shillings. So these are three kilos, so I paid 210, and 
that these are 11 so i paid slightly less than Ten, less than what? 10 shillings? Uh, uh, I don't know. I paid that much. It was cheap. <laughs> Considering how huge they are. And then I bought sweet melons. Uh, these ones, well, they were selling at 80 shillings per kilogram. Which is slightly cheaper than Marikiti. Because Marikiti I have asked before. And they sell like 150 shillings per kilo. Last time I checked. So it's been a while since I bought sweet melon. But yeah, they were there. Cantaloupes is the other word for them. Uh, very I'm very excited about those and then you guys I bought those fancy fancy bangs they had raspberries uh, these are things we only see in the movies you guys but <laughs> if you saw my comparison video between Naivas and Kafu you saw how I said Naivas have these fancy things that are found in the movies so now apparently I found them at High Ridge and I bought this one at uh the raspberries are going for 150 shillings and the they look very they look very uh, healthy we'll see i can't wait to make our skewers with this and then the blueberries were going for a hundred shillings <laughs> you guys are so cute dog this is not even a glass of blueberries but i do know for a fact that at Kafu these ones are going for 150 shillings so i saved me a whole 50 bob there good 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 price uh the strawberries were going for 120 shillings <laughs> okay okay um i mean i love my visitors and i would do anything for them but i don't see myself buying strawberries uh, anymore until i find a cheaper price because 120 shillings you guys i don't know but they do look very healthy i don't know how much they go for elsewhere because i'm not a strawberry buyer but you guys the grapes now this is what i buy normally my kids and i love grapes and normally they would go for between 250 to 350 shillings at marikiti which and you guys know marikiti is the cheaper option anyway so now these ones you guys i bought them for 150 shillings like a whole at least a whole hundred shillings cheaper then I would buy them at my kit. You one fifty Kenya shillings. Hey, I can't even. So I bought three. I am very proud of myself and proud of the Harridge people for that amazing price. Boom. And lastly, I bought these um, sweet corn, which you guys, I felt like the price was just the same as at the supermarket. Oh, I could be wrong but these ones were going for 100 shillings yeah so i wasn't i just bought but anyway it is what it is and the kids will definitely love these so that is my haul from high ridge market you guys awesome amazing stuff So the first thing we are going to do is start with our extremely chocolatey chocolate cake because as much as we are going healthy you guys uh three of our children just turned a year older within the last two weeks and if you watch my video on uh parenting rules we don't follow one of them is that we don't have individual birthdays we normally have one big birthday bash but since that is not going to happen thanks covid so now we are just going to we just celebrate uh, a little at a time if you watched my hosting video a few weeks ago we were celebrating our last bonds birthday who turned three so yeah today we're just doing the other three birthdays and life is going on so i am making this extremely chocolatey chocolate cake if you like the recipe i did this on the christmas desserts video and yeah it's basically the same thing you guys just basically the same chocolate cake this is like my go-to chocolate cake it never fails me 10 ingredients uh yes and life is easy because i like my life being easy guys so let us make this cake all right so uh in i'm doubling the recipe okay so in this 
in the in this mixing bowl i've already put four cups of all-purpose flour and then i'm going to put one and a half cups of cocoa powder okay that's one cup let me measure the other the half of it all right this is my fail proof proof chocolate cake that everybody loves although i'm the next week i'm going to make you guys to be a lemon cake i really want to learn how to make a lemon cake so yeah there we go one and a half cups of cocoa powder and to these i'm going to add one and a half cups of sugar the recipe calls for i guess this would have been three cups but you guys who needs all that sugar in their system so one and a half cups of sugar all right and i am going to add uh two teaspoons of salt one two and to this i will add uh, one recipe calls for one and a half of baking powder so it will be three teaspoons of baking powder one two three you guys this recipe is very very forgiving so this should have been this needs two two teaspoons of baking baking who baking soda yeah two all right one two so those are my dry ingredients i want to mix them up fast before we go any further so i've already finished mixing all my dry ingredients to this i'm going to add one and a half cups of cooking oil all right because the recipe calls for three quarter cup all right so since we're doubling one and a half cups all right and uh instead of putting water which the recipe calls for you guys i like to put a bit of coffee all right so here i have my jug and i have my nescafe coffee you guys this is i've been buying different types of coffee but <laughs> i've gone back to the original nescafe because you guys nescafe is the bombest so let me bring it closer so you can see so i have instant nescafe coffee there which i am going to put a little bit of hot water just to you know do what it does and to that i am going to add some milk we buy this milk from the atm you guys you don't buy packaged milk if you've watched my video on 30 things you no longer buy then yeah you will know we just we like to buy milk from the atm please check out that video so now i'm going to keep adding my coffee to this my mixture and keep mixing until i get the desired consistency all right so i don't i don't dump it all into the mixture at once One thing I love about this recipe is that I know uh, I'm supposed to put just 10 ingredients. So I can basically count them off in my head, you guys. Easiest recipe ever. So don't wait for it to be extremely runny at this point. Because remember, I still haven't put our four eggs. We just want to incorporate that coffee for now. Make sure everything is nice and wet. 
guys i used to have a hand mixer and i promise i used to whip up this cake in five minutes and then my my mixer decided to die on me so i'm still planning to buy a new one as soon as uh <laughs> yeah the ramsey allows me <laughs> yeah so there we go so now we put the eggs when i did my breakfast uh batch cooking video i remember you guys were <laughs> extremely uh disturbed by the fact that i was breaking all my eggs into my mixture and you are right it was a, a disturbing thing to behold and so today i am wiser and i am cracking my eggs separately yes and adding one at a time yes you guys i have a teachable spirit you know normally i know it's just those things you know but then you're like ah these eggs are going to be okay plus anyway we had bought those eggs from one gigi market so i was kind of guaranteed that they were extremely fresh but you never know in life there are no guarantees apart from you know god and heaven and all those nice things all right so there be my four eggs and then to this i would add vanilla essence which i had uh if i had thought of buying it but again i was in the supermarket today and i looked at it and you guys my brain i don't know what's wrong with my brain i just did not buy it and i knew very well that i was coming to make this cake you guys so anyway it shall be well and to this mixture i also add my remaining um coffee mix just a little at a time yes this is where you guys i get this nice lovely arms yes i know i don't have lovely arms you don't have to tell me in the comment section below but <laughs> at least i'm getting my arm workouts today uh only one arm but it's better than none yes so there we go i miss my mixer when i grow up ha <laughs> someone wrote in the comment section below at we are praying for you to grow up soon and i was like yes thank you keep praying guys oh i should mention as well that my oven is preheating as we speak at 200 degrees centigrade all right so this is still quite heavy so adding my coffee mixture i put generally around two cups of instant coffee with milk or you can put two cups of water uh, as i said this recipe is extremely forgiving that's what you want all right you want a flowy cake batter beautiful awesome so to this amazing deliciousness we are going to add as many chocolate chips as your heart desires because after all it is a double chocolate cake i kind of feel like i want to add more so hmm. Gorgeous. All right. This is ready for the oven. So here is my baking sheet, baking tray lined with parchment paper. I learned just yesterday that when you crinkle up your parchment paper, uh, it fits more. And I agree. Ah, 
eyes. Do you see what I see? Hey, Christmas is coming. Oh my gosh, I love Christmas to bits. I'm so excited about Christmas, but uh, do you see what I see, you guys? Do you see the chocolatiness of this chocolate cake? Like, I see what I see. Awesome. Gosh, Christmas. I love Christmas so much. All right, into the oven at 220 degrees centigrade for between 30 to 45 minutes. Just keep checking on it. Okay, don't keep opening your oven, otherwise it's going to flop. You all know that, right? So let's go into the oven and see. So as the cake is baking, it's, my turn. it's now time to make all the other snacks. Bear in mind, I have one hour before my guests walk through the door. Yes, ambition is my middle name, you guys. Guys, I was also going to make an apple pie because I'm ambitious like that. But thank God I discarded that idea because, I mean, look at the time. Like, I have an hour. So the cake was ready after 40 minutes or so. 
as you can see the skewer comes out clean with no cramps so I remove it from the oven just leave it to rest in the baking tray for 10 minutes before I remove it the next thing I'm going to make are my apple nachos which is an, a recipe I just found online yesterday and it looks really amazing and really easy imagine they're basically just apple slices let me first move this so you can see apple slices uh, and drizzled with fancy things basically we are going to drizzle ours with peanut butter and uh, peanut butter and what maybe some chocolate chips we'll see all I know is that it looks delicious when I saw it online and me and delicious go very well together so okay I'm supposed to be cutting these things into bigger slices but supposed to be is the operative word okay <laughs> And then one thing I learned yesterday, which I've never known, is that if you want your apples not to turn brown, I always knew about soaking them in, in lemon water. Most of us know that. But I read online that you can soak them in sprites. Yes. And... I was like, why not? I mean, these things we see online, uh, some of them need to be proven. So, I am here to prove it. So there we have it, guys. Uh, I finished chopping up the first batch. So. I have my Sprite here, yeah? You all know we don't buy sodas here. I mean, if you watch that video on 30 things you no longer buy, I say we don't buy these drinks. But, uh, let us try this experiment. And my guests are here, guys. And I'm not even halfway through. Mama. Yes. Some guys are here. What are their names? Whoa. Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Grab a seat. Grab a seat. We will be with you very shortly. Okay, I did not expect that reaction. Let's wait and see. Although it does smell really, really nice. Mm -hmm. eh? Who are here? Go get toys for the guests, guys. So we'll leave those to soak for a while as I cut up the other apples. These are ready. Yes.
the next thing to make are the fruit skewers which are basically so easy just cut up fruit and just put them on a skewer and it's so interesting because the kids loved love love them so much and they're basically just fruits you guys put on a stick even the grown-ups love them as for the sweet corn after boiling it for just 10 minutes the next thing is just cut it up put it on a tray we don't put salt we don't put butter although i will roast them i'll try and roast them just to see the difference between roasting and boiling but the kids love them when they are just boiled and plain the fruits that remain from, from making the fruit skewers are great for just mixing up into a fruit salad but it's very important to cut up the grapes into half so that kids don't choke on them a little bit of garnish on the cake just to make it interesting for the kids so I'm making a simple icing of this margarine with cocoa I melted I made the margarine first then I put cocoa, cocoa powder I put cocoa powder and I also put icing sugar easiest thing ever Just a little bit of Oreos and M&M's because yeah no, at this point it's basically a triple chocolate cake but it's so pretty and so easy I just want to give such a major shout out to our dear dear friends Angie and Andrew who are you guys we just love them so much and they have a YouTube channel you guys they sing so amazingly please check out their YouTube channel and you will find fantastic music there that is God glorifying and very well done and yeah please subscribe to their channel you guys so yes if you have enjoyed this video please remember to give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't watch another video on the channel please and i will see you on the next one bye everyone bye. say bye, bye. bye.